Namaste. Movement in yoga or asanas is the engineering tool that we use to fix the physical body. There are three main rules to remember when we are doing yoga asanas. Rule number one is alignment. Just as a building is strong when it's placed on properly aligned foundation, so is alignment to yoga asanas. As you become more aware of the placement of your hands and feet on the yoga mat, you become more aware of your inner feelings, of your fears, of your desires. You're able to address them and you're able to handle them better. Rule number two when doing yoga asanas is awareness and understanding. It is extremely important to become aware and understand the effect of each and every posture that you make on your joints, on your muscles, on your internal organs, and most importantly, their effect on your feelings. How a certain posture makes you feel will make you understand which set of postures are meant to be yours. They become your signature. Just like you ask a swimmer, what's your stroke? Or we ask a runner, what's your distance? The same thing with yoga. When you understand how each posture makes you feel, you will become familiar with a certain set of poses that are natural to you, that will always make you feel good, and you keep these as part of your daily practice. Rule number three in doing yoga asanas is focus on the journey and never the results. Because you see, in yoga, your progress is not measured by how many minutes you can stand in headstand or how many poses you make, but rather of how good your relationships are within yourself and with everyone else around you. Sounds or mantras is a very important engineering tool of yoga that everyone can learn. Science is proving that we are made of sound, that each cell of our bodies is made of sound, that each physical matter around us is made of sound. By learning the sounds attached to these physical matters, by learning the sounds that are attached to us, we will be able to recognize our true self away from the association of the body or the attachment of the mind. Mantras can be simple. They can be simple Sanskrit mantras that each and every one of you can learn. They can be verses from scriptures or they can be a simple own sound. By repeating these mantras and focusing on the effect they make on our inner self, you will be able to discover things about yourself that you have not known that they even existed before. Because you know, the loudest sound that you hear is not the one that you hear through your ears. It's rather the one that you repeat in your head, the one that you say to yourself inside your head. By learning these mantras, you will be able to cleanse and purify your system from all the beliefs, from all the notions, from all the conceptions that you had had about yourself, and you will be able to reach a peaceful existence with boundless sources of energy that will always be there for you. Namaste.